Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. So we are back and uh, today we are going to look into oh, a few things actually. It's going to be kind of one of those uh, episodes where I want to do actually a couple things. Our, uh, we, we've oddly enough gone through another thing of lava and I kind of want to make another drum. So I'm going to do that first. I just, I don't know why, but I'm having fun just doing the drum thing. And so it's like more of a why not, you know. Uh, maybe I'll uh, duplicate everything here so we have an extra drum uh, sitting on standby this time around. Uh, so we have it when we need it. There we go. And wait, did I actually make the... No, I didn't. Okay. And there we go. So we have an extra couple... Uh, extra drum. Sorry, not an extra couple, just an extra drum. And hopefully that is exactly... Yeah, it is. I just feel sad if it was off by like a millibucket basically, so I just want to make sure it's there. So there you go, we got uh, two full buckets in this. We might need the lava for other things later on as well, so it's just more like why not? It's just, it's fun. Um, it's a crappy power, it's, me it's not even a medium game power really. Um, I choose to make it that way. I will do a better power later on, but it's just why not? I'm having fun with it. Uh, okay, so uh, today we're going to, first of all, go ahead and uh, we're going to upgrade the damage on this. I'm sure there's better ways to upgrade this, but for now I'm just putting more, um, uh, sorry, I'm going to, I'm putting more, wait, that was weird actually. You didn't get a full amount, did you? Ah, okay, we're missing eight. Okay. I was like, something is amiss in my head. Like, I feel like, you know, it consuming it all wasn't right. There we go. So we're, we're upgrading the damage on this just so we have it. And uh, I was going to do something else. Oh, yeah, we have another beheading here. We could probably put a... Or, sorry, we have another level on that. We could probably put another beheading on there, uh, which will be great. So we go ahead and get the obsidian and an ender pearl. And we'll get an extra beheading on there. So beheading five. And do, don't forget the base of this already has a, a bunch of beheading on it. Um, I forget what it was. But uh, anyways, I guess beheading five in total now, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, anyways, so we got that. We'll put this in our offhand. We'll keep the osmium here for repairs. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go and look at repairing my speed charm, basically. That, that's kind of like the, the thing here, and maybe the antidote charm here. But uh, yeah, I like these speed charms. They're a little expensive in emeralds, easier to recraft than repair, at least at the, the current method of how we have repairs. But I know there's an anvil on here, and I'm going to check it out. So there's two anvils. There's a magma anvil, and there's a power anvil. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and make uh, both of them, probably, just to see how it is. So this is an enchanting table. We don't even own an enchanting table uh, till this second. We haven't been doing that kind of enchanting. Uh, we just no need, really, with uh, the mods we have on here right now. So this is apparently a powered enchanter. Uh, or, sorry, a powered uh, anvil. So the idea is basically you place it down and it powers up. So interesting. Always on. Uh, I don't know if that means it's draining a lot of power. Um, I feel like it shouldn't, but let's, let's, ow. Ow, that anvil actually hurts. Cause, oh, it has the anvil drop effect, sort of, but maybe it's not actually doing it? Weird. I feel like that's half-coded properly. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so it didn't look like it was dropping power uh, there. So here we go. We'll put this in here. And this should be repairing it, I guess? Let's... Oh, no, it's working. Okay. Now, I don't know what the speed of this thing is, how much power it uses, all that kind of stuff. Holy crap. I lost my cable. I want to bake. Uh, from the looks of things, this thing uses insane, and I mean insane amount of power if I'm, if I'm reading this right. So... 64 krf yeah so 64 k that's a lot of power this uses the, these things will be all speeding up and going through like crazy oh yeah the, these are these are going one by one basically look at that okay so you get the idea that's a horrible power usage of a thing there um it's almost disgusting amount of power usage but we'll leave it for now for the test uh, so we, we, we see the power uh, on that anyways, and uh, we get an idea. Then there's another one you can make. There's a, a magma anvil. It uses lava for the stuff. Now, I don't know if this one's better in any way. Um, we have this anvil. I don't think I've ever used it, so it probably can be used and replaced. 
Uh, you need the magma blocks here, which I can make more of those. Uh, I guess I don't have, yeah, so we'll just go ahead and like this one, two, three, I don't know how many we need, but we'll get a bunch made. There we go. And we need a couple gold blocks. And this should be enough. Nope. That w Oh, we didn't make this part. One, two, three. And there we go. So this should be enough for what we need. There we go. Now, this one uses lava. So, I mean, lava is lava. That's that's something simple to understand. Now, I don't know what this use is, like what this one uh, is usage-wise, but uh, we'll, we'll see over time. So the interface on all these are broken, at least in multiplayer maybe. Um, but anyways, uh, there you go. I should probably take a picture of this just because it's been a, a bug for a long time and it's annoyed the hell out of me and honestly it should be probably fixed by now uh, okay got the link for that good okay anyways uh so let's get another speed charm here hopefully this one is not insanely uh crazy in usage but maybe it is maybe it isn't uh and let's throw this one in here so here we go so this is running right now and uh, let's go ahead and actually break this just so we can get an idea. Okay, so that's 10 buckets of lava. And holy crap. <laughs> so the, the, these methods of repair are definitely uh, decently nerfed. They're, they're, not, uh, they're not cheap in any means, that's for sure. Woo! So we're going to go through that like crazy. Wow. Okay. Well, <clears throat> if I were to say, I would probably assume that the cheapest power then, or the cheaper one would be the, um, the powered version only because it probably runs the lava more efficiently where this is not as efficient, but it's, it's fun too. You can do lava directly, but, uh, at least now we understand anvils are very, very expensive, but it is a way to repair, uh, your tools and things that you need that uh, maybe you can ever repair. You know, those ones, maybe it's worth remaking them. I don't know. Uh, but I, I wanted to go through it and try it. So if we've done that. I feel like that's successful. They are horribly expensive. But uh, you know what? I enjoyed it. So, okay. So let's check out uh, some other ones. There was one called a water... I saw it here. A water candle. I have no clue what this is. It just looked interesting. Uh, here, I'll show you the description here. Uh, increase nearby spawns when lit. So, kind of sounds basic and interesting. Um, so, I, I just wanted to see what it was like. So, I'm just going to throw it over here because this is it's dark. It's night. Probably be a good time to try this out. And I'm assuming I'm going to have to light it. So, we're going to have to go ahead and get ourselves a flint and steel over here. Do, 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 do. There you go. Flint and steel. So I assume you just light it with a flint and steel. I just wanted to see what it was like. This this might be worth doing for uh, wither uh, skeletons, for example. You know, it might help uh, spawn more. I, I don't know. So there you go. Oh, I just saw a bunch of spawns over here. Ooh, some creepy spider one. Oh, God. He's got a baby on his back. It's actually quite adorable. Even though I just destroyed them. Weird. So I'm assuming it's somewhat working, but... Oh, and that's it. Well, ah, whatever. It didn't last long. Anyways, um, I don't know much about it. Maybe it's related to water. I mean, it, it says water on it, right? So maybe it... It means like things for underwater. I, I really don't know. Uh, I just thought, hey, I'm going to make it and just see what it is. But uh, clearly we didn't get much out of that. Um, if you know much, share it in the comments. Let other people know. Um, it might be more useful for somebody out, outside there. Then I saw something called a rainbow cannon. I mean, I was just like, what? Rainbow cannon? Uh, so I thought this was kind of cute sounding. And it has some stuff we have. Now, we don't have... We could probably make one of this. Oh, we don't have that kind? What do we have of these? Oh, these are from the Guardians, I guess. I, I thought we had the shards, but that was a different thing. So we can't make this right now anyways, unfortunately, just because we wouldn't have the uh, the components. Um, so, 
you have to be a little sad here. We don't have all the dye for this, but this just makes you so you can, you know, edit the colors, which is kind of cute. I was just wondering if I can have, uh, do, 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 do. Oh, this is just the, yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, that, that one takes that. There's a spawner seeker. Uh, I saw uh, spawn. There's actually a few spawn things. What's this one? Target dummy spawner uh, experimental feature. Spawn the target dummy that measures the damage done by a player. Oh, that's a kind of adorable. So uh, we might as well try that. It's an experimental feature. Probably means more like it could have bugs or crashes or maybe it's inaccurate. But uh, oh, that is so friggin' cool. So you can go like this. Holy crap, that's cool. So you can now, that, ooh, I don't think it's supposed to do the XP orbs, but that's probably because another mob does, or a mod does it improperly. Uh, so that actually works really well. You can see that you basically do, okay, so do I do better? I think I do better when I right click spam it. Actually, when I time it slower, it works better than holding it or spamming it. This is me spamming it. Look how many times it misses. Interesting. Okay, and this is me spamming it. Oh, this one broke, I think. Oh. I have no clue why I can't even hit this one. It des definitely gets more hits in on the uh, the spamming. Weird, huh? And then you get your sword here. I like how it goes the one direction, so you can't see it there. Huh, that one did twenty, I think. Cool. So there you go. That's a that's a neat little feature. But uh, it does drop the XP stuff, which I mean, I guess it could be a bit of a, uh, an issue, but. Um, probably not so much for that, but it does show that it could be an issue for other mods that might do weird things like that in other mod packs. Uh, spawns missiles nearby hostile targets. Detects mob spawns, including modded slimes and wither skeletons. So this is a spawner. Detect mob spawns, including modded slimes and wither spawn detector. Huh. Not quite sure what that means then. I don't know why it's showing purple. Is it only gonna work with purple? Oh, I get it, because it's a purple top, I guess. Oh, I see. So you have to do purple, I guess. So let's see if a Minecraft purple, rose and lapis, I probably don't have those two. Well, I probably do, but uh, they don't call it rose anymore. They call it poppy, there you go. And you could probably go like this. There you go. Oh, I want to clear this, but not that. There you go. And then go glass. There you go. And now you should be able to create this guy. Okay, so this is a spawn detector. Um, I assume you just... Oh, okay. This tells you all the... Uh, different uh, things that can spawn in this chunk, basically. Uh, it just says, hey, you can have the following spawn in this chunk, possibly. Um, which is quite a bit. So some of these, of course, would only work underground, like a witch, uh, you know, a, uh, well, a witch can spawn above, I guess, but a bat, for example, would probably be in a cave, things like that, but that's kind of cool. Cool. So that's a good uh, like little tool to maybe more debugging or understanding what can spawn. Then there's uh, this one that searches out an actual spawner, but it requires uh, moss stone, which moss stone shouldn't be hard to make. It's just that we probably don't have any, oddly enough. Uh, of course, they spawn at spawners as well, which that's kind of like, I guess, the ir ironic part of it. You know, you're supposed to get some over time. Weird enough, I haven't gotten it. There's other ways to make it, but it seems like a waste of time just for checking it out. Uh, so we'll leave that alone. And uh, yeah, so and you got a torch launcher, nothing special there. Okay, what else do we have in this mod? Okay, so they had some other things. Here's a, 
uh, atomic, uh, or, oh, sorry, uh, atomic, I don't know why I said that, automatic uh, fishing rod uh, thing, automatic, there you go, I saw this thing here. So you need a fish for it though. <laughs> so you need a certain fish for it. And so you're going to have to play around with that. Probably not so hard with this pack. So might be worth getting uh, later on. And then one other thing I wanted to check out, which probably would be actually useful, uh, is the harvester. So they have this harvester here. It's an automatic gentle harvesting. I assume it's going to do the right click uh, method. So we'll go ahead and create just create a bunch of these so they're done there you go and um there you go harvester so we should have all these components there you go now keep in mind this probably requires power um but let's go ahead and uh, see what it does here so we take this out has its uh, little design thing oh so it shows you how far it can do so you can do this is probably what is this the the regular farm size so this is the nine by nine now i don't know if this will work with the um agricraft of course i, I have no clue uh, most because i don't know uh but if it does cool so i guess you do that and uh, these guys are kind of in the way but uh you know what let's move them out actually i kind of stopped using agricraft anyways just because uh i'm not really interested in the 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 breeding, uh, I, I just wasn't really interested in the stat thing the way it is right now. You guys remember how that was annoying, so we we're just like, you know what, we'll just leave it. Okay, so there it is. This is a gentle uh, area will attempt to harvest the whole area at once uh, at the cost of fuel, or uh, there you go, and requires redstone, always on. There you go. So e this probably isn't going to work mostly because I think they require power now. Uh, that's sort of how things are in this mod. Uh, back in the day, I think everything didn't require power, but now it does, which is a good thing. I mean, I think it should require power, but just saying that uh, we'll probably have to go and bring power, which leads us to our next thing. There is a transfer, uh, even wireless transfer. I don't, I've never tried it, but I thought I would see what it's like. I don't know if it's compatible with our universal cables, things like that, but there's an energy transfer here. You need to make the redstone comparator. And uh, yeah, so let's make four of those, I guess. And uh, yeah, another brick. That should be actually, oh, we have enough anyways. There you go. And so I don't know much about this. This is the first time ever even attempting this. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's do output side on the top, I'm assuming. I wanted to see that actually change if it did. Oh yeah, it is. So input, output, perfect. And we'll put this right here and looks like it's touching it. But then again, all the sides look like they're touching it and transfer rate. Okay. You can set a transfer rate. This is actually probably good because you can nerf things. For example, it's like, oh, that's too much, too little. It says it's full right now. So let's go ahead and attempt to put this on the other thing. Seems to be at least compatible in that sense. I don't know if we'll need some of the transfer cables or anything like that, or if it'll just let me touch it and basically do the thing. So we'll double check, no, nothing's been harvested. And there you go. And uh, this should be, no, it's not connected unless, no, this is not getting RF. So here we go. So I guess you have to set detect target block Bind to GPS maker. Oh, okay. Uh, GPS, I guess. Oh, here it is. So lapis probably. Oh, it says light blue actually. So that's bone meal and lapis. Uh, or other plants and flowers, but uh, we'll just do that. So get our lapis and oops. I didn't even get my lapis. Uh, there you go. And bone meal. There you go. There you go. And that should work. There you go. I don't know how this works, so we're we're testing this out, my friends. Okay, saved. Okay, so I assume because that's getting the energy, um, the idea is uh, you have to put it on the this opposite side. Actually, maybe, you know, oh, well, I think it works like a Tesseract, so it probably doesn't work that way. Either way, we'll throw it in here and see what happens. OK, 
Okay, it does not look like it's working. That could be simply that, uh... This could be just a simple case of maybe you need one at one place, one at the other. Maybe? Sort of like you have to bind them, pair them up. I kind of like the idea no, because then you can, like, on a server, you can sneak to your friend's place and steal their energy, but, uh... Yeah, that's not always the case, so, uh, yeah, we'll try this on this side, then. Whee! My gliding, or my flying sucks. Okay, so we'll shift, click on this, just double check, okay. So probably you have to do it on both, but I'm not 100% sure, but that's what we're gonna try. Okay. And we got this. Awesome. And we'll just throw this in here. So it says it's detected. Transfer. Well, it just says energy transfer node. So it seems to know that both of those things actually exist at least. Whether or not they're working, that's another another thing, of course. But uh, And then I don't know if it'll work on these type of plants. Okay, so this is not working at all, unfortunately. Um... I might have to look this up. Syslic energy transfer node. Okay. Oh, it doesn't look like there's anything on the internet. So I might have to play with this, unfortunately. I like how it shows there's a power here, though. Oh, wait. What the? That is actually working now. Is this... <sighs> oh, is it so... Oh, I think I'm an idiot. Requires redstone? Oh, okay. I might be a bit of a noob here. Um, I think these are on now. I think I've gotten these backwards, I think. Rather, this always on yeah I, I don't know if i've gotten this backwards or maybe it's backwards for some reason it seems to work that way either way but it seems a little uh, weird um because we have this is a syslic oh no that, none of these are syslic now um yeah i'm not sure my friends i'm not really sure H how's this working always on requires redstone it works anyways it seems okay so um, as I kind of had assumed, um, it does not work with the crops from what I can tell. Uh, I had guessed that probably wouldn't happen. Uh, so if we go ahead, we'll, we'll double check and confirm this by just going ahead and, uh, planting them themselves and see, uh, if this changes anything. So there you go. Oh, wait, uh, I don't want to do melons. Melons are... If you do melons, then you're you're in a world of hurt, mostly just to the fact that uh, you're stuck dealing with uh, them growing on the blocks and on the sides. But let's say wheat would be a good one to start with for testing here. Okay, so in water bucket. So basically, we're just going to uh, grow these up and see if it harvests them. Go. Now it's probably doing one, 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 one kind of like zigzag or kind of like going through or around or a circle or something like that. So it might take a bit, uh, might not work right away. That worked on those. Okay. 
Okay, so this one always on. This one, on the other hand, still confused by this. Holy crap. I don't know if this is, uh, I'm looking at this wrong, but this thing uses a lot of power. Yeah, if, if this is right, this thing uses insane amount of power. Let's go back over here and increase it. I can't quite tell if it's using, you know, if it's, um... If it's working properly or not at this point, so I gotta play around with it, but it does seem to be using a lot of power, so... It doesn't seem to have a big number, a transfer rate a thousand. So if it's using more than a thousand RF a tick, that is insane. Oh, okay, so, yo, uh, well, I shouldn't say yo, this might be wrong then. No, there you go. Requires redstone, always on. I'm still so confused on these. You can't blame me on this one, this, this stuff's weird. Let's see if this kind of fixes it. Ah, there we go. It works. It doesn't seem like this affects it much, the transfer rate. Okay, so there you go. It's a simple farm. And then you can, of course, uh, you know, s store your items in, say, a small crate or something. I don't think these work beside it in any way. Uh, it's probably mostly related to... Uh, you know, using a pipe or something uh, to pump it out. So like a servo, things like that. So I'll probably off camera make a better farmland area anyways, do it properly. When I say properly, mostly like on the chunks, etc. Just make it work a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, at least we got something out of that. I was, uh, I was hoping to do a bit more, but uh, you know, we spent a long time trying to figure that out, but we kind of figured it out, I think. So that's awesome. So, you know what? We found a, a way to wirelessly transfer energy, which I think is a, a big, uh, a big, you know, hooray kind of thing. And uh, yeah, uh, the only other thing I'm looking at is that plant mod, the one where we have a bunch of these, the mystic, uh, mystic, uh, there you go. You can go. And so I'm kind of interested in this mod. Um, higher up gets really insane. So these are the seeds, right? And then at a certain point, the seeds get really... The tier 6, was it? Or is it tier... No. Oh, yeah, this tier right here. So if you want to make the tier 5 crafting seeds, they require these growth essence. And this is a nerf. This is like a creative kind of mod. Like It's pretty powerful from what I understand. But this is a nerf for it. And basically, it's a growth essence from ATM Tweaks. This requires Draconic, uh, Draconic, of course. It requires Royal Jelly, which is a higher B form. It requires Actual Additions Fertilizer, which I don't think is a big deal. It requires Flux, uh, Pyto, Grow, something or other, which I don't think is that insane. It's not like a difficult thing. Uh, mana Powder, not too much of an issue. Just neat, very basic Batania. And Bone Meal, not, a, not an issue again. But the Royal Jelly, on the other hand, requires your basically an Imperial Princess. Uh, so other bees can do them, but mostly it's the idea is you get to Imperial Princess to provide the Royal Jelly. And then you build them into a fu the Fusion Crafting in Draconic Evolution, which a bunch of Nether Stars, a basic Draconic Core. Uh, so yeah, that that's kind of cool and kind of like, oh damn. It can also be done in a power. So if this one, you know, maybe this is too much, the Empower is probably not that expensive. So you could do it through this as well. But same same idea though. Still for the fertilizers and the royal jelly. You have to do that to get to the next level. Now, I am interested in this mod. I've never done it before, and I know that you can make these seeds. Now, I'm actually interested in... I don't know if you can plant and grow these seeds. I've never done it. I don't know anything about the mod, really. So um, I kind of understand that the idea is you get higher and higher. You you basically craft your seeds, and you kind of exponentially gets expensive. So I do understand that sort of part of it. But I don't understand uh, if these can be planted themselves. Apparently, they can be planted themselves. 
And then I assume when you harvest them, you'll get the the material itself, the uh, the actual inferium seeds. So that's that's important. That's a way to get more inferium, I guess. Uh, and that 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 is you know in my books uh, an important key. So I might plant those and get a farm going just on those alone. Uh, but I wanted to see that uh, in action, and that kind of just proved that. So, interesting. I think we're going to play with this mod next time uh, and see how it goes. Uh, I think next episode will be a bit more on the farming uh, aspect of things, just for fun. And uh, then we'll go from there. So, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Goodbye. <laughs>